What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to another BDSP video. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to get moves on your Smeargle in an effective and timely manner. Of course Smeargle is one of the best Pokemon ever to grace a supporting role on a team and it's an extremely useful one with access to pretty much every move in the game and extremely useful tools like Fake Out, Follow Me, Spiky Shield, and Spore while also having the Moody ability makes it very difficult to deal with because of those random stat boosts and stat drops. It can be really really annoying but overall if you're using a Smeargle you're bound to get a lot of mileage out of it. So I'm going to be giving you guys a tutorial on how to get moves onto your Smeargle today, whether it be for uses in competitive, in the battle tower, or even just as a catching Pokemon. This is a phenomenal Pokemon to have at your disposal. So if you guys enjoy this tutorial at any point in time or find it helpful, do me a favor, leave a like in the video, subscribe to the channel and turn notifications, and let's go ahead and get into it. Okay guys, so the first thing that we want is our Smeargle. Obviously, you know, Smeargle only has the move Sketch, but this little guy I hatched and trained myself. He's got max HP, max speed, and four defense. Um, you know, he's got the ability Moody and he's got a tip in nature. This is just how I've chosen to run my Smeargle and I'm going to be building a competitive Smeargle for VGC. So the moves that I'll be running on him are going to be Fake Out, Follow Me, Spiky Shield, and Spore. I actually only have three moves right now. I've got Fake Out, Follow Me, and Spiky Shield. However, I'm going to deal with Spore later. This method will work for any move that you want, except for Dark Void. I believe Smeargle is incapable of learning that. But here's what you're going to want. You're going to want your Smeargle, and you're going to want three Pokemon that can learn the moves that you want to give to the Smeargle. Now, first things first is we're actually going to go ahead and, not Mr. Gift, we're going to travel to the move deleter over in Candleclave City or Canalave City, I always mispronounce it. And the reason that we want to do this is because the move deleter is going to get rid of every move that we don't want our Smeargle to learn off of the Pokemon that we're pretty much going to be using as donors, right? So, for example, I have Spiky Shield on this Cacturn. However, for this method to work consistently, what we need to do is get rid of every move that isn't Spiky Shield. So I need to get rid of everything, and I'll go ahead and come back to you guys once all these are gone, because it's going to take a second to do that. Okay guys, I finished up at the move deleter. As you can see, the only moves that my Pokemon know are the moves I want to give to my Smeargle. So my Cacturn has Spiky Shield, my Togekiss has Follow Me, and my Makuhita has Fake Out. Now, we're already pretty much right where we need to be to use this method. Actually, first things first, you're going to want to put a fast Pokemon at the front of your party. This is specifically because you won't always be able to encounter a Ditto immediately, and you want to be able to run from that. So, what you're going to want to do is head over here to the route right next to Canaclave City, and you can actually encounter Ditto here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run until I encounter a Ditto, and I'll come back as soon as that happens. My bad, I completely forgot that you can actually only get the Ditto through Pokey Radar. I should actually point that out. So, turn on your Pokey Radar and try to get a Ditto. Hopefully I get it first try. I actually was like running around for two minutes, and I went, wait a minute, you can't actually get the Ditto unless you Pokey Radar. So I'll be back as soon as I get the Ditto via Pokey Radar. Okay, so it actually took me a minute, but I did end up getting the Ditto. And what you're going to want to do here is I'm already leading off with Tokus, so I guess we'll start off with getting Follow Me on my Smeargle. So the Ditto is going to transform into my Tokus, and it's obviously only going to have access to moves that my Togekiss has. So I'm going to click Follow Me here just to stall out the turn so it can transform. And now the Smeargle, or the Ditto, has um, the form of my Togekiss and is only able to use Follow Me. With this in mind, we can switch safely into the Smeargle. And we're going to go ahead and send him out here. This uh, Ditto should be using Follow Me now. There we go. And we can safely go ahead and go for this uh, sketch and take that move from it. And boom. Right here we're going to sketch it. And there we go. Smeargle learned Follow Me. Now what we're going to do is, you might be thinking, okay, Marcos, so, you know, I have Follow Me on my Smeargle. I have whatever move I want to put on my Smeargle. What exactly do I do now? I don't have access to Sketch anymore. Well, that's actually the next step. What we're going to do is we're going to head over to the Move Relearner with a couple of heart skills, and that's going to be in Pastoria City. So I'll see you guys over there. Okay, so here we are in Pastoria City. This house right here is the Move Relearner's house. And for just one heart scale, you can actually teach your Pokemon a move that it used to know. And while it might cost a heart scale now, if I recall, after 10 uses, it actually becomes free. So we're going to go to our Smeargle, we're going to select them. And the only move that we can relearn is Sketch. 
So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna repeat this process with every single move that we want by heading right back over to Route 218 and Pokey Radaring for another ditto. Okay, so here we are, we got our second ditto. And keep in mind, it might take a couple of tries to get the ditto, just be patient. It's not the most consistent thing, but this is the only way you can consistently get moves onto your Smeargle. It's just pretty inconsistent finding the ditto. So um, what we can do here is, I think the next move I'll be going for is Fake Out. So I'm gonna go ahead and swap into my Makuhita. The ditto will transform into the Makuhita, and the only move it'll have access to is Fake Out. And since it's not the first turn it's on the field, uh, the Fake Out will fail every time it tries to use it, but I'll still be able to go ahead and sketch that move onto my Smeargle. So here we go. Now I can go ahead and safely switch into the Smeargle. As they go for the Fake Out and it fails, I get my Moody Boost, not that it matters. And we're going to go ahead and sketch this move. And there we go. Smeargle learned fake out. Now, obviously, you're just going to repeat this method two more times for the last two moves that you want. I'm going to go ahead and do that off camera. But yeah, that's going to do it for this tutorial. If you guys enjoyed it or found it helpful at all, do me a favor, leave a like on the video, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications because I bring you daily BDSP content. And yeah, I guess uh, if you guys also want to keep up with my channel, join the Discord. It lets you know when I go live on Twitch. And sometimes I just like do fun community stuff in there. Also, comment down below what type of Smeargle you want to build, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.